the NSA is watching your every move. Who cares, right? You're not doing anything wrong. Well, as NSA whistleblower William Binney pointed out, you don't get to decide what's wrong. The central government does. In fact, you could be breaking a law right now that you're not even aware of. Take a look at some of these laws that, while they may be outdated and unenforced, most of them are still on the books. It's against the law to take a bite out of someone else's hamburger in Oklahoma. Sporting a goatee in Boston? Well, you better have a permit for that, you whiskery wrongdoer. In Iowa and Eureka, Nevada, it's illegal for a man with a mustache to, under any circumstances, kiss a woman in public. Sorry, ladies. And hipsters. A Chicago municipal code from 1911 banned people who were diseased, maimed, mutilated, or deformed to the point of being an unsightly or disgusting object from going out in public. Ah! Did you know that it is illegal to fart in public in Florida after 6 p.m.? Yes, I've heard about that. Yeah. They're very serious about their clean air there. Oh, really? <laughs> in Indiana, a bill was proposed to make law that the value of pi is three. Thankfully, a mathematics professor was present in the legislature that day, and the bill didn't pass. In New Hampshire, you may not tap your feet, nod your head, or in any way keep time with the music played in a tavern, restaurant, or cafe. Have you ever heard of the Computer Fraud and Abuse Act? Well, you've probably violated it. Have you ever signed on to an unsecure Wi-Fi network? What, is, uh, what does unsecure mean? Just like free? You're sitting in your apartment and someone doesn't have their thing locked down, so you're like, oh, I'm going to go on the internet. Yes, I have. Well, that is a federal offense. Have you ever used a fake name when signing up for an internet account? Yeah, of course. Yeah, that's breaking the law, too. Also a felony. Oh, okay. Nah. Okay, okay. So you did not mean to commit a federal crime of hacking when you logged on as Seymour Buns. But it just goes to show how easy it is to pass a law simply to control behavior that some people find offensive. In fact, you don't even have to break the law in order to get arrested for doing something others find disagreeable. Jeff Olson is facing a 13-year jail sentence for writing anti-bank messages in water-soluble chalk on the sidewalk. And a 14-year-old would never be facing a year of jail time just for refusing to change his shirt if Obama hadn't waged an all-out war against the Second Amendment. What you're doing today could seem harmless, but a year from now it could be damaging just based on the whims of those in power. And the police already abuse the immense power that they have. So if the NSA is recording every move that you make, and somewhere along the line technically everyone is going to break the law, Punishment becomes purely selective. Basically, those in power will have whatever they need to punish whoever they like, whenever they choose. So the question shouldn't be, I'm not doing anything wrong, so why should I care if I'm being spied on? The question is, if I am not doing anything wrong, then why the hell do you think you have the right to spy on me? I'm Leanne McAdoo, and this has been an InfoWars Nightly News Alert. A great report from Leanne. Like, uh, you know, there's all kinds of crazy laws. I think, you know, you can't fart in, uh, in Florida after a certain time. Just all kinds of crazy laws that people don't even know about. It's just, it's so ridiculous. Let's move on now to our quote of the day. The most perfect political community is one in which the middle class is in control and outnumbers both of the other classes. That by Aristotle. Now stay tuned because after this break, Rob Dew is going to be in here talking to some of the, uh, the guys from State of Mind, or one, I should say, one Mr. Richard Grove. He's the writer of the film. And you can also check that out at the InfoWars shop. And you can see it right there. State of Mind, the psychology of control. And that comes with Wild Supplies Last, The American Dream, another great film. So you get two films for the price of one. And I do stress that's Wild Supplies Last. Those things are going very quickly. Uh, the American Dream, we do have plenty of state in mind. But just keep that in mind. Now you can watch Alex Jones live at Infowars.com forward slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15-day trial for Prison Planet TV. You can also browse the network, the Infowars Nightly News, and over 60 movies and documentaries all together in one place. You can watch the Alex Jones radio show live as it happens. So check it out, Infowars.com forward slash show.